Hi everyone, I hope you all had an amazing week and welcome to another five round pub quiz. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. It's a really easy game to play. Uh, I just say if you want to keep track of your score, grab yourself a pen and paper. Uh, it just makes life a little bit easier. And before we get started, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the top three scores from last week. We will start with the single players. In third place is Eric Sutherland with a brilliant score of 51 out of 60. Well done, Eric. In second place is Todd McRaven with 52 out of 60. Brilliant, Todd. Well done. And the top score is Darren Dolby Oldham, sorry, with 54 out of 60. Great score, Darren. Very impressive. Uh, well done to you three. And a big thank you to all the single players who played. So we'll move on to the teams. In joint second place is Lee Sumanstan and Lily and the gang, both with 58 out of 60. Great job. Well done. Very impressive. And the top score this week, Rob and Danielle, 60 out of 60, incredible, well done, well really really good, always good score but that is exceptional, great job. Um, so again a big well done to you three teams and thank you to all the players who played, we had lots of new players, lots of new comments, uh, really appreciated, thank you very much. So we move on to this week's quiz, as always there are five rounds, round one is a picture round, round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week is a famous landmarks round. Round four is a musicals round. Uh, it was requested by someone, but I couldn't find who that someone was. So if you're playing, I hope you enjoy. Uh, round five is a general knowledge round. I will give you answers after round two, after round four, and after the final round. As always, I hope you enjoy and best of luck. So round one is a picture round. There are 10 pictures of famous people, places, etc. You'll have 14 seconds for each. Number one, can you name this TV or movie star? Number two, who is this from the world of music? Number three, uh, who is this from the world of sport? Retired now. Number four, name the historical figure. Number five, which company has this logo? Number six, which well-known person have I warped? Number seven, can you get the song title from this image? Number eight, name the city. Number nine, uh, which film is this a still of? Uh, number 10, the last one. What is this a close up of? Okay, round two is the entertainment round. There are 10 questions. You have 12 seconds for each. Number one. The red car and the blue car had a race. Is the opening line in an old advert for which chocolate bar? Number two. Who played John Merrick in the 1980 film The Elephant Man?
Number three, complete the title of this 1984 song by Murray Head, One Night in Blank. Fill in the blank. There is a clue. The answer is a capital city. Number four, Good Night John Boy was one of the closing lines at the end of each episode in which TV series? Number five, which musical tells the story of the founding fathers of the United States? Number six, who created the 1980s kids TV show Fraggle Rock? Number seven, Chris Martin is the lead singer of which band? Number eight, which country and western star appeared alongside John Wayne in the 1969 film True Grit? Number nine, in the Shrek film series, which actor slash comedian provided the voice for Donkey? And the last one, number 10. In the 1994 film Forrest Gump, what did Forrest name his shrimp boat? Was it the Jenny or the Bubba? Okay, that's the end of the first two rounds. I hope you scored well. I'll quickly go through the answers and then we'll go straight into round three and four. So the answers for round one, the pitch round. Number one, this TV or movie star is Rowan Atkinson. Number two, from the world of music, Brian May. Number three, the sports star, retired sports star. The answer is Martina Navratilo Navratilova, sorry. Number four, the historical figure. is Fidel Castro. Number five, which company has this logo? The answer is Paramount, or Paramount, Paramount, Paramount. Number six, which well-known figure have I warped? Samuel Jackson. Number seven, did you get the song title from this image? Well done if you said Lady in Red or The Lady in Red. Number eight, The City. The City is Seattle. That's the uh, Space Needle. Number nine, did you get the film from the still? It's The Hangover. And the last one, number 10, The Close Up. Very good job if you realise it's a beer. Okay, the answer for number one in the entertainment, the entertainment round, the red car and the blue car had a race, is the opening line in an advert for Milky Way. It's a cool little jingle. Uh, number two, who played John Merrick in the 1980 film The Elephant Man? He was played by John Hurt. Number three, uh, complete the title of this 1984 song by Murray Hayes, One Night in Bangkok. Number four, Gnad John Boy was one of the closing lines at the end of an episode of The Waltons. Number five, which musical tells the story of the founding fathers of the United States? That is Hamilton. Number six, who created the 1980s kids TV show Fraggle Rock? That was created by Jim Henson. 
And number seven, Chris Martin is a lead singer of which band? The answer is Coldplay. Number eight, uh, who appeared alongside John Wayne in the 1969 film True Grit? That was Glen Campbell. Number nine, in the Shrek film series, who played, uh, who provided the voice of Donkey? That was provided by Eddie Murphy. And the last one, in the 1994 film Forrest Gump, what did he name his shrimp boat, the Jenny or the Bubba? It was the Jenny. Very good if you went for that one. Okay, round three is a famous landmarks round. Uh, this is a round where there are two points available per question, so you have 20 points up for grabs. Uh, there are two sections. The first section I actually think is quite difficult. What, you're gonna see the name of 10 famous landmarks, and I want you to put them into height order, from the tallest to the shortest. And you'll get one point for every correct answer that you give. The second part, for um, your second point on each one, you just need to tell me which country that the famous landmark is located in. So I've given you three minutes for the entire round. I hope that's enough time. If you do need a little bit longer, uh, feel free to pause it until you've put your 10 in the order that you want. Um, yeah, no time limit, that's fine. So uh, I hope you enjoy and best of luck. Okay, round four is about musicals. Uh, very easy to play. You're gonna see the name of a character and the title of a song from a musical, and all you have to do is guess what that musical is. You have 14 seconds for each one, and if you know nothing about musicals, you think, oh, it's a terrible round, I guarantee you there will be some that you know, I, I promise. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoy, and good luck.
Okay, that's the end of round four. I hope you enjoyed those middle rounds. I'll quickly go through the answers and then we'll go straight into the final rounds. Okay, the answers for round three. Uh, we'll go through the height order first. So number one, the tallest one, uh, probably quite easy, is Mount Everest, which is 8,850 meters high. Number two is the Burj Khalifa, which is 830 meters high. Number three is the Eiffel Tower at 330. Number four is Space Needle, 184. Number five is the Great Pyramid of Giza at 137. Number six, the Statue of Liberty at 93. Number seven, Angkor Wat, which is 65. Number eight, the Leaning Tower of Pisa, 57, which is number nine. Next, Stonehenge at four meters which leaves Mannequin Piss, which is only 24 inches high. So I got, I got to play this round. When I picked the uh, the 10 I wanted to put in, I then checked the height. But I, when I had a go, I only got six. So I got between five and eight completely the wrong way around. So uh, if you beat my score, well done. And we'll go on to the second sections, uh, the countries that they reside in. This was a lot easier. Number one, Mount Everest is Nepal. And if you put China, yeah, if you put China, give yourself the point. That's fine. Uh, number two, the Burj Khalifa is United Arab Emirates. Number three, nice easy one, Eiffel Tower, France. Number four, Space Needle, USA. Number five, Great Pyramid of Giza is Egypt. Number six, Statue of Liberty, USA again. Number seven, Angkor Wat is Cambodia. Number eight, Leaning Tower of Pisa is Italy. Number nine, Stonehenge is the UK. And the last one, probably the toughest one, the last one, Mannequin Piss is a little statue, a little fountain in Belgium. So the answers for the musical round, number one, cassette, I Dreamed a Dream, the song I Dreamed a Dream is from Les Miserables. Number two, Elphaba and the Wizard of Alphabet, the character, the wizard eye, the song is Wicked. Number three, Miss Adelaide, uh, the song A Bushel and a Peck is from Guys and Dolls. Number four, Riff, and the song was Jet Song, is from West Side Story. Number five, don't have to say that, Christine Day, uh, all I ask of you is The Phantom of the Opera. Number six, Tracy Turnblad and Good Morning Baltimore, Baltimore, sorry, is Hairspray. I do like that one. Uh, number seven, Mrs. Lovett and the Worst Pies in London. Very good job. If you said Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Number eight, Elder Kevin Price, uh, Baptize Me the Song, I've heard it's very good, is The Book of Mormon. Number nine, Sophie Sheridan, and Take a Chance on Me is Mamma Mia. And the last one, number 10, Roxy Hart. And the song Cell Block Tango is from Chicago. So the final round, round five, is the general knowledge round. There are 10 questions. You have 13 seconds for each. Number one. In anatomy, planter relates to which part of the human body? Number two, which country has the longest coastline in the world? Number three, from which tree do acorns come from? Number four, in Greek mythology, who killed Medusa?
Number five, which is the first month of the year to have exactly 30 days? Number six, France had, has had 18 kings with which name? Number seven, Columbus is the capital of which US state? Number eight, how is, the, how is the Arucaria tree more commonly known? Number nine, what is the main alcoholic ingredient used in the cocktail Singapore Sling? And the last one, number 10. How many men appear in the famous 1932 picture, Lunch Atop a Skyscraper? And you can be one under or one over for the point in this one. So the answer to round five, number one. In anatomy, plantar relates to which part of the human body? It relates to your feet. Number two, which country has the longest coastline in the world? I may have used this before, it is Canada. Number three, from which tree do acorns come from? They come from the oak tree. Number four, in Greek mythology, who killed Medusa? That was Perseus. Number five, which is the first month of the year to have exactly 30 days? It is April. Number six, France has had 18 kings with which name? They have had 18 Louis. Number seven, Columbus is the capital of which US state? It's the capital of Ohio. Number eight, how is the Arucaria tree more commonly known? Tough one, this one. Well done if you said the monkey puzzle tree. Number nine, what is a main alcohol ingredient used in a Singapore sling? Uh, it's gin. And the last one, number 10. How many men appear in the famous 1932 picture Lunch Atop a Skyscraper? Maybe you can be one under or over. There are 11. So if you said 10 or 11 or 12, give yourself the point. Okay, that's the end of the quiz. Uh, I'd like to start by saying sorry it's a day later than usual. I try my best to get them out on a Friday night or first thing on a Saturday morning, but sometimes uh, life gets in the way. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please click the like button. And so you don't miss any future quizzes, please subscribe. So thanks again for playing. Have a wonderful weekend and bye-bye.